Hey, what's up guys? Hi, and welcome to another episode of Strong Ones, presented by Red Bash Media. This is uh, a video that we shot a couple weeks ago with uh, Zach Wales, who is a trainer at Gift Fitness. Uh, he's new to this area, he's uh, Lompoc, I guess you could call, here in the Central Coast, but he's new to uh, North County. So I don't know too much about him with his uh, powerlifting background. I know recently he's done a couple competitions. Um, but in this video today, you'll see both of us squat together uh, for the first time. Um, so just getting through this intro, which I do need to change. Um, Jamie has competed in her first CrossFit competition, which she did awesome. And uh, now it's time to switch this up and uh, put some new footage and some new stuff and some new goals that we have to conquer. Uh, excuse me for any background noise that you hear. Uh, Cruz, the little one, is sick right now. He's got the flu, so sorry if you guys get any weird background noise uh, noises or any messed up audio. Um, he's passed out next to me, poor little guy. Anyways, I'm not going to put the progression up, but basically my warm-up, we start out, I start out at least, with two sets at just the bar, and then I add on a plate until I get to the desired level of weight that I need to for that day. So I just wanted to cut that video out, and here we are, um, worked up to uh, 495. Um, basically, I wanted to explain to you guys the difference in this squat being at only a few weeks old. I've already changed it, not dramatically, well, not dramatically, but enough that I think will help take my squat to the next level. And it's all because of a Max Ada video that I saw on uh, Super Training TV, Mark Bell's YouTube channel. So... Uh, Here's the difference in the way that um, I squat and the way that Zach squats. His squats, uh, I absolutely love his speed and his explosiveness. Uh, when you see him drop down, you'll see his descent is very fast. And you'll see he explodes up through the bar. Um, he's very explosive, very powerful um, uh, in and out of the bottom. And all together, we'll see and get this going. But you'll see the difference, and when I go next, you'll see how slow and how sloppy I go. I've gotten results doing what I'm doing, or what I have been doing for the last year, but it kind of plateaued, and now it's time to switch it up. And <clears throat> I'll kind of explain the differences as Zach goes through real quick. When I squat, my first cue is to stick my butt out, and I've been doing that for about a year. Now, according to Max Ada, <clears throat> keeping your weight all in your heels, sticking your butt out, can negate, can, I'm sorry, I said this, can negate the help that your quads will give you coming back up into the lift. So if you see here, what I've started to do the last two weeks, and I can already feel its effects, is when I go down, if you see a tiny, you, you see it quick, but I kick the butt out first, and then I sit into the squat, which, uh, keeps me bending a little bit more forward than I'd like and the bar path even though it's the same it's kind of um, in the front of my foot instead of uh, uh, in the middle which is where I want to keep it uh, oh my goodness look at that whose booty is that behind me <laughs> she's gonna get pissed she's gonna hate that um, but the uh, where are we uh, this is our, this is our buddy Matt. Matt is uh, the owner, one of the owners of Give Fitness, and the owner of Working the Give Foundation. Him and Josh Donovan opened up this awesome gym a couple years ago. Just had their second anniversary party. Awesome place, awesome group of people. Uh, really inspiring guys. Um, should get to know the company and look them up at Give Fitness and find out what they're all about. Pretty awesome. But if you look at this squat, you'll see Zach, he kind of breaks the knees, which is what I've been doing the last couple weeks. All for Max Ada. I don't want to take any credit for finding this new way of squatting. Max Ada told me, or put this video up on Mark Bell. He's working on his form too. There's a bunch of other stuff I could work on, but this is what I'm starting with. And by doing, by breaking at the knees and then sitting in the squat, by kicking your butt after you do that. You allow your uh, quads to become engaged at the bottom and then up there through the lift. So right now, 
I'm, it's basically all hamstring and all glutes. If you look at Zach, all right, <laughs> that was, all right, people, if you are going to do pause squats, tell your spotter that you're going to do pause squats. I didn't know what was happening, and I thought he was about to fucking die, so I rushed in there thinking um, he couldn't get the bar up. So tell your people when you're going to squat or do pause squats so they don't look like an idiot. Um, but anyways, uh, he's almost done here, but if you see his quads, um, his quads are still activated, and he's doing a pause squat, so they're already going to be, it's kind of a bad review for me to say on the pause squat, check this out, but, um, next week's video, you guys will see the difference, especially in my squat, he does them pretty fast, I do them slow, which I want to get better at, but you guys will be able to compare the two, I'll put, a couple videos up so you guys can see the difference in um, what I'm talking about when I say to break at the knees, then sit in uh, the squat with opening your hips. So that's all I got for today's video. If you guys want to see more of Zach, uh, you can, uh, he's a trainer at Give Fitness. You can go check him out there. You can also go to his Facebook page at Zach Wales. I'll put that up. I don't think he has an Instagram. At least I haven't been able to find it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this quick short one. Uh, next week, we'll uh, get some with me and Jamie deadlifting. We got some slow mo deadlifts, some snatch grip deadlifts, uh, some awesome stuff with that. And we'll tell you exactly how to crush your back and how to take that to the next level and get your deadlift, which is, I've been stuck out for a while. So, hope you guys are enjoying all this. I uh, got the podcast coming up today. Tonight should be uploaded and finalized through Apple and iTunes. And. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Strong Ones presented by Red Bash Media. I uh, hope you guys get strong this weekend. Go live something, and we'll see you guys next week.